Sometimes marriage is about more than falling in love with someone. Sometimes it's about protecting your assets. I am an entrepreneur. Over the past decade, I've started and sold three different businesses. I haven't made a fortune or anything, but I'm comfortable. I live a good life, have savings, and I've worked hard to get where I am. I met my fiance, Robert, at a tech convention about a year ago. He's shy, calm, and incredibly smart, which was refreshing compared to the other over-the-top personalities I usually encounter. We clicked right away, and things moved fast. Three months into dating, Robert proposed. It was sudden, but I was happy. This happened right as my latest company was starting to take off, and I was in the middle of negotiating a deal to sell it for about $8 million. I thought it would take time to sort out, but everything started falling into place quickly after his proposal. Almost immediately after we got engaged, Robert started talking about all the things we could do with the money. He mentioned buying a new car, talked about shopping for a house, and even made a list of dream vacations. At first, I thought it was kind of cute. Who doesn't fantasize about what they do with a sudden influx of money? But the more he talked about it, the more uncomfortable I felt. One day, he said, once the sale goes through, we should start looking for a place. You don't want to stay in that tiny apartment, right? I told him very honestly that I didn't want to buy a house. I've always liked the flexibility of renting. As an entrepreneur, my life tends to be unpredictable. I plan to stay in my apartment for now, I said. I'm not even sure where I'll be in six months, let alone two years. He got surly after that. He didn't like that I wasn't jumping on board with the idea of our dream home. But he perked up every time the sale of the company came up. He'd ask questions about how much I was going to make, what I planned to do with the money, and he even picked out a new car for himself. That's when I started feeling uneasy. I spoke to my attorney about the situation and she advised me to get a prenup. The prenup was simple and fair. It basically stated that whatever we brought into the marriage, we'd leave with. My business assets and any earnings from them would stay with me. The same would apply to Robert if he had any significant assets, but he doesn't own any businesses or property. He's an employee at a tech company. I presented the prenup to Robert, thinking he would understand. I was wrong. He flat out refused. He said it made him feel like I didn't trust him, that it was unfair, and that it was a sign I wasn't fully committed to the relationship. I explained that the prenup wasn't about trust or commitment, it was just about protecting what I had worked so hard to build. He still refused. I gave him time to think about it, but his stance didn't change. He even suggested that we just get married without any legal protection in place because what's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. The problem was that I wasn't comfortable with that, and I told him as much. Finally, after weeks of arguing about it, I canceled the wedding. Robert was furious, claiming I was prioritizing money over our relationship. He accused me of being cold and calculating, and that's when I started to question myself. I care about him, but I also care about my financial security and the future I've built. I've talked to friends and family, and the opinions are split. Some think I did the right thing by protecting myself, while others think I'm being too cautious and that I should have trusted Robert. So, am I the asshole for walking away from an engagement because my fiancé wouldn't sign a prenup? Should I have trusted him more, or was I right to prioritize protecting myself, given the circumstances? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's discuss it. All opinions are welcome.